Guys, in this video, let us look at relative risk. Okay, so basically relative risk, you're trying to estimate what? You're trying to estimate the risk. Basically, this is a ratio. So that means it's a fraction, one number upon the other number. So which is the up number here? Incidence of disease among exposed divided by incidence of disease among not exposed. So here you have, right, incidence of disease or death among exposed. So these people have an issue. They have, a, they have disease or death, right? And they were exposed to it. And here also there is disease or death, but they were not exposed to it. Okay, this one word, one word is different here, not. Okay, so they were not exposed, but these people were exposed. In both the cases, there is what there now? Now there are incidences in both the cases. Though they were not exposed, there are incidences. So the ratio of this will give you the relative risk. Okay, so this is also called as risk ratio, right? So let us see this. So basically here they have shown a study where there are around 10,000 people. Okay, in that 10,000 people you saw that 7,000 are smokers. Interestingly, more people are smoking and non-smokers were 3,000. Okay, among the smokers, okay, 70 people lung cancer. Among the 7,000 people, 70 people have lung cancer and the remaining do not have. And among the non-smokers, 3 people have lung cancer, though they were not smoking. Okay. So not exposed, not smoking, we are going with same thing here. Not exposed, not smoking, here we are assuming same thing, both. Okay, we are assuming both are same here. So what is relative risk? Relative risk is incidence among the exposed divided by incidence among not exposed, right? So here you will get, so it is A divided by A plus B, right? <clears throat> divided by C divided by C plus D. Is this a little complicated guys? I we hope not. See it is just that A divided by A plus B divided by C divided by C plus D. So here you have 70, right? 70 divided by 70 divided by 7000, correct? Divided by 3 divided by 3000. As simple as that, guys. Don't worry at all. So, this is the relative risk. Okay. So, this is telling you the answer is 10 divided by 1. So, here you are getting the relative risk as 10. What is the final answer here? 10. So, 10 is the relative risk. Okay. So, basically, this is the direct measure of the strength of association between the cause and the effect. Okay. Here you have got the answer as 10. So the relative risk is 10. So if 1 is there, then there is no association. Okay. If it is greater than 1, like in this case, we got how much? 10. That means the incidence among smokers is greater than incidence among non-smokers. So there is a positive association here. Okay. But here you are not talking about any cause, but you are saying there is a possible association. There is a risk. Okay. What if it is less than 1? If it is less than 1 means what? So there is lesser number of cases in the exposed. Okay, so this would be some other kind of data, not this data. Like lot of people um, got vaccinated, the risk of getting the disease in them is less. So that could be a, uh, it could be less than 1. Okay, so finally we will conclude this video. If RR is more, then there is a strong association between the factor and the disease. Okay. So here the what they are saying is that uh, the disease can be associated with the factor okay but it cannot be the cause okay you are not saying that it is the cause we don't know cause okay we are not implying the cause here okay do not imply the cause so we are not talking about the cause we are just saying possibly this could be a risk what exactly causes we don't know okay. So we are done with relative risk guys. Hope you have understood the formula A divided by A plus B divided by C divided by C plus D. Okay. That's all for now in relative risk. Bye bye.